welcome back to my channel. My name is Nika and this is Hi Black Girl, a channel that's all about helping you live your life at your absolute highest potential. And in today's video, I am going to show you how to create a vision board in Canva, similar to this one, my vision board. But first, before we can jump into that, we have to take some time to reflect on where we've been if we're going to know how we're going to live life. <laughs> First, before we can know where we're going, we have to take some time to reflect on where we've been. So my first step before I start making my vision board is actually to take a moment of reflection. So before I create my vision board, I have to do my reflections. I like to just take my journal and just take some time flipping through the pages, seeing what I really loved about the year, what I didn't really like so much. And if you need some examples, I'm going to share some of mine with you literally right now. <laughs> All right, so I like to focus on glows and grows. So your glows are things that went really well throughout your life. So things in 2022 that you loved and you felt went swimmingly well and you want to just keep going into 2023. And then also your grows, things that, you know, maybe need a little water, maybe need a little sunlight and can really improve. So some of my examples are my first glow is travel. I was able to leave my job in 2022 and travel in Europe. Um, it was one of, not my first time, my first time in like Portugal and Lisbon. Lisbon is in Portugal. My first time in Spain <laughs> and my first time in London. I also went to Marseille, France, and honestly, I have a whole like travel vlog series if you want to check those out. But I really enjoyed that, and I had no idea that it was going to even happen. Like, life just went so crazy, and I just was really open to opportunities. And so, in 2023, I want to continue to prioritize travel and really continue to be open um, to the travel opportunities that come my way. Okay, so my second glow and like, an example for you guys is really building community um, because I was no longer working a nine-to-five job I kind of miss that like human interaction so I really put myself out there at my yoga studio um, I'm also a yoga teacher if you didn't know you can check out my day in the life of a yoga instructor in New York City here um, but then not even just at my studio, also at Y7, another yoga studio, and then at SoulCycle as well. I really started to like make friends um, with the people I work out with and like hanging out with them. And that's just been really great ways for me to build community and something that I want to continue to do in 2023. So an area that I didn't do so well in and something that I really, really want to grow and facilitate in 2023 is content creation. I did not hit my YouTube goal for the year of 2022. I wanted to get to 500 subscribers. I'm filming this in January of 2023 and I think I'm at 463. So if you want to do me a favor and go ahead and press subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to make a new goal for this year. Not sure what it is yet, but I definitely want to get more subscribers than I have now. So I really want to focus on creating more content and just being really consistent with it um, in the new year. And then my second grow, uh, just like as an example for you guys, I ended up dating like two really crappy guys in 2022. And so in 2023, I want to put myself out there a little bit more and just go on more dates. I don't want to download any of the dating apps, so I'm not sure how this is going to happen. I think if I just manifest, everything will come to me, you know? So that's kind of my focus areas and some of the reflections that I felt comfortable sharing with you guys. So take some time now, journal, reflect on your journal from the year, and see, you know, what was glowing and what could be growing in the new year. Okay, so the next step is to vision who you want to be in 2023. These can also be called New Year's resolutions. I mean, you know who you want to be, girl. <laughs> you know who you want to be. 
So honestly, like just start thinking of the habits of like your idealized self. So an example to make this a little bit easier, a little bit more digestible for you. Um, one of my New Year's resolutions is I want to start waking up at 6 a.m. again. I did this for maybe two or three months straight in 2022, but then I ended up falling off. So my goal to help facilitate this in my life is to create morning routines and nighttime routines that help to grow this habit of waking up at 6 a.m. Another example is I really want to get back into reading. I got really great at it actually at the end of 2022 and my key was like just reading things that felt good, reading things that I was like actually excited to read. For a while in like 2020 and 2022 and the earlier um, months of that year, I was trying to just read these like really dense like self-help books, but I realized what I actually wanted to read were just like fun, lighthearted romance novels. So I started to just let go of the limitations I had on my reading habits, you know? Not every book on your shelf has to be like knowledgeable or informative or you know you're trying to learn something about budgeting or finance or just anything you know sometimes you can read just for fun and I find that I read the most when I'm primarily reading for fun so that in addition to not being on myself was a strict to like book budget as well I think those are really gonna help me just continue to grow um, my reading habits so if I really want a book I don't care about how much it costs I just buy it because I know I want to read more all right and then the last example I want to share with you is travel so I wanted to travel more in 2022 and I definitely did and I want to keep this behavior going in 2023 so a person who travels a lot isn't going to be super nitpicky when their friends want to put together a trip whenever my friends invite me on a trip I honestly just say yes <laughs> Um, you know, someone who travels a lot also isn't going to be, you know, kind of tied down and waiting for their friends to plan a trip for them to go somewhere. So I also really just embrace traveling solo as well. And I think just continuing those habits in 2023 is going to help, like, keep me aligned with the traveling girl that I want to be slash already am. <laughs> So you take some time, think about who you want to be in 2023, and what are some resolutions that can kind of help manifest and really facilitate that growth for you in the new year. Yay! All right, let's get to vision board planning. Step three. Okay, so now at this point, you've done all of your pre-planning, you are ready to jump into Canva and make your vision board. So I'm really excited to show you guys my vision board right now. I love using Canva because I just think it's a really fun, like easy tool to be creative and it's totally free. This is not sponsored by Canva, but maybe we'll manifest that for 2023. <laughs> all right, let's jump right in. So this is my 2023 vision board. As you can see, I really started to incorporate some of those things that we talked about, but you guys don't wanna see my vision board. You wanna see how you can make your own. So let's go to a new page. I like to start with the year right in the center. And then my theme for the year which this year it's elevate with me so when i'm making my vision board on camera i first like to find something that's like aesthetic to be a background so i quite literally search aesthetic background i like to use photos and then i believe this is the one i use because it's calling to me right now. But, you know, you could use anything that you wanted to use. If you drag them, it would automatically just make it take like the full width of the canvas. So it's nice to have like a cute little like blank slate. I also like to use things that are already kind of collage y because I feel like that helps just make the process like a little bit easier. I'm gonna delete that. 
and I'll just show you guys how I made mine exactly. So the next thing I wanted to do was look up photos of the places that I want to travel. So London is one of the key places that I want to travel this year. I believe I took, oh, I did like an illustration of the London Bridge. But for the purposes of this, I'm just gonna show you how to use like one of these photos. Let's say I used a photo of the London Bridge instead. I will go to edit the image, remove the background, give it a minute for it to load. Beautiful, and then I would just click apply. Then I would just move it around until where, whoop, Canva girl, don't do it to me now. all right girl all right she, she's with us she's back with us and then I just put it like wherever it makes sense another place I really want to go is Paris specifically I want to go to the Louvre or the Louvre I've been there I want to go again this is the image that I like the most so I just did the same thing edit image background remover BAM Click apply, and then you kind of just, oops, no, everything will work out for you. And then let's move that down here. Actually, let's, I like the way this is a little better. And then I'll put this one over here. There. I like kind of like the two cities class clashing too. I think that's kind of cute. And then I would just keep doing that process with like anywhere I want to travel. And then after I get kind of like all the images up there. So here I have LA, I have the Paris. This is um, a university in London. Um, I then started to add in just like stuff about continuing the life that I already live in 2022. So I live in Brooklyn, so we just keep that there. I also did like New York City. Um, but this time, instead of looking at photos, I wanted to look at some graphics. So I was like, oh, I really like this line thing. So I added that in here, changed the color just to make it, you know, kind of match my aesthetic. And I kind of just kept doing that until I felt like it was full enough um, to where I was kind of happy. So you can see here, I have some books. Um, I also have like a kind of a book tower that you may or may not be able to see. I have some money here because I really want to pay off my credit card debt this year. Um, 10K balloons because I guess I want to hit 10k on YouTube. That sounds really, really ambitious. Uh, this mandala to represent yoga. And just, you know, I just kept kind of stacking stuff up. For the background for the 2022, I just kind of looked up pieces of paper. And I just kind of kept like adding it until I felt like it was a really cool, like kind of aesthetically pleasing, like just bunch of little scraps of paper um i really like a scrapbook vibe that might not be your vibe uh but just do you know whatever you think looks good so i kind of just kept going like this until i felt that it was you know everything looked nice Not this little piece Great, um, so let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions. This is essentially just how I did my vision board. Um, what I also really like about Canva is you can resize things. So this is like YouTube thumbnail size, um, but if I wanted to make it like iPhone size, I can do that. Phone wallpaper, you just click it and it'll automatically resize it so it can kind of fit your phone wallpaper. And let me just show you how that would look. Eh, it looks kind of okay. <laughs> I might have to reconfigure it a little, a little bit, but basically you get the gist. Um let the yoga thing here. I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll play with this later, but 
probably not going to include that because I actually don't like the way that looks. <laughs> well, I forgot what I was saying and now I'm on a tangent. So let's just wrap up the video. <laughs> All right, thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, especially if you made it all the way to the end. And please do me a favor and subscribe. You know I have a bunch of goals for the year. You know, I need, I need your help. I need you, cutie, please help me. <laughs> but yeah, feel free to leave me any questions in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.